this is Mara, and we're going to take a look at the seventh episode of my Wizard World Park that I have been working on. And you can see here I'm going ahead and I'm starting to work in the Kulturas area, the, the watery area, doing a little bit of terraforming. And I'm getting ready to place a water coaster, and I realize, you know what, if I'm going to do this, um, I better start getting a monorail. So what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to just take a look at how I set up the monorail and how it's going to uh, play out. Uh, when I started this, I did not have a clue how the monorail systems worked. I thought you had to put it down a station and then you just link those stations with individual or with one rail line, but that's not how it works. It, what you do is you uh, start with your first rail line and then you stop each time to put a new um, a new station in. And so what I did here, which I'm still glad I did because I was able to use them, was go through around the map and figure out the best places for the monorail stations. And I, I put them in a variety of places. And here you can see I'm going ahead and I'm working on trying to hook these up. And again, you remember I didn't have any idea um, how this was going to work. I didn't know how monorails were set up and I had to do some research to actually figure out what I was doing. Uh, the way I want to set this up is so that you kind of maximize both transportation and just a viewing what's out there, seeing what's in the, the map. Um, some people, um, I know peaks don't do it, but I know that in real life some people will, will ride the entire monorail around and see you know, where it takes them and, and look at all the neat stuff. And So I wanted to do a little bit of that. So that was another reason it was important to get this in now so that I didn't have to try to weave around rides and those types of things. So here is the first station. It's going to be behind the main street area but easily accessible. And I didn't go too much into the Deadlines area because it's all pre-built but there is one little loop-de-loo which you'll see here in a little bit um, that goes like right up against the edge on the outside edge and then one goes just kind of right through the middle of it and I think that's enough for, for that particular area and I, I a lot of them are up high um, high enough that you can see down you can see all the different areas and then the ones out here in the back they may ultimate have to we ultimately have to be moved, but I think they're in pretty good areas or space. Um, I may use this whole map, but I probably will have a lot of scenery in there, a lot of just trees and stuff. So, um, so then I went ahead and I needed to make a station, and the station I'm making here is uh, for the uh, maximum amount of people, minimum amount of space, as much as I can. Um, I end up making a pretty modern looking uh, station, which is kind of different for me. Um, it's kind of different for the area. I don't know if I, I'm going to keep it or not, but I went with this bright, bright purple, and it's very modern. Very, very modern. Very, very different. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't know if maybe I'll just make all the stations look exactly like this, but in different colors. So this will be the purple line, and you know, then there'll be purple, red, orange, whatever, and so you know kind of where you are in the park. Uh, maybe make the one closest to Dead Mines, um, like the orange or yellow station, um, purple because it's by the front entrance. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I, I don't know for sure what I'm going to do with it. So uh, I like this station. I just don't know that it's going to fit the theme, and I don't know that it's really the most attractive thing I've done. Uh, I have done a lot of work since I built this and I've I've done a lot of ride skins and stuff like that and uh, I've gotten significantly better and I think I might not keep it mostly for that reason. Um, so I make sure to do, you know, it, it looks pretty good. It, it's, it's very newish for lack of a better term, but as I've said a few times now already, we, you know, uh, part of this project, we're going to see how much I improve and, and where things go and what it was like to start at the beginning. And I, I started this series. This is my very first park. This is my very first um, big project. 
And since then, I've done some collaborations, and I've done um, some shuffles with the Dragon Dragonian group, which is the greatest group in the world. And um, I've learned a lot, and I've done some of my own work. And it's kind of amazing how much has changed and how much my skill set has changed since I put this together. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, I like how I did the roof here to a certain extent. Um, I think it's kind of a neat, like I said, a very ultra-modern looking thing. Um, one thing that would go nice with this is my ultra-modern uh, shop skin. Uh, I think that would look really slick in the, over in this area, but again, it's a Blizzard World Park. I, I just don't know how it would apply. So here, here I am. I'm, I'm finishing up the group, getting things together, um, making a, a final final attempt at making things line up. Uh, sometimes stuff just does not want to line up, and this is you know the battle we all have in this game. Um, there's a lot of things that I can tell you that I've learned and I would do differently than I do now. And I'm, I'm a lot better with two hands, I'm a lot better with basic shapes, those types of things. So it's kind of fun to, to see those changes and go back and be like, oh my, the park doesn't even look like this anymore. And uh, see what, what all I've done. Um, I'm kind of in love now with doing custom railings and getting better at that. I've done a lot of new custom uh, lamps. Those are looking pretty good. So a lot of fussing, a lot of fiddling, a lot of getting better every day. And um, like I said, you know, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. We'll see how many things I tear down and put back up. And and uh, I record a lot for this. Uh, for the videos so you'll catch most of it some of it you know i skip around because i don't think you want to see every detail of everything i put down but um i'm happy that i got the monorail in and i'm happy with the final outcome of how this project uh, went for the time being and like i said it it's likely this will change just because i don't think it fits the theme but um i did want to kind of have at least a size and a shape there so that i know what to build around and I haven't even got to the front of the park yet. I'm still working over on the, the outside edges. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what part, part I'm going to do next. I might go and start doing the main street area. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. Um, I kind of want to do maybe one side board, one fun alliance. But it's hard to say. There's so many options and so much still to do. Not to mention the other projects I've done. So um, I appreciate you stopping by, having a look to see where I'm at. And I encourage you to subscribe and comment all you want. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.